Hey what's up, this is Dalmons Tech here with another game controller video. You guys have been asking for this one, finally I can now show you guys how to connect an Xbox controller to your PC or Mac. Now compared to the PlayStation 3 controller, it's a little bit harder to connect the Xbox 360 controller to your computer because it does not run on Bluetooth, it runs on a completely different band. If you have the wired controller, uh, it's a piece of cake, you just plug in the USB, install the driver and it works. If you have a wireless controller, you will need to get a receiver off Amazon or somewhere like that. I've already bought one, this is what they look like. Uh, this is the official Microsoft one, make sure if you can to get the official one because otherwise the knockoffs can be a bit uh, cheap and they do kind of fall apart. I've heard reports of them falling apart so make sure to get the official Microsoft one, I'll give you guys the link below to Amazon to go and get that. It's about £18, €20, Euro, about $25 around that and you will need this to connect your wireless controller to your computer. So once you have either a wired controller or a wireless controller with a receiver, there's no way around this, you need to get the receiver. I'll show you guys first how to install it on Windows with the official Windows driver and then on Mac OS X with the unofficial modified driver. So here we have our wireless controller and our receiver right here. Now before we start installing anything, I've actually found that Windows 7 and Windows 8 seem to install the drivers for either these two or a wired controller automatically through Windows Update if you have an internet connection. So if that happens, you won't need to install them manually. I'll show you guys how to do it in a sec though if it doesn't happen. So if you have Windows Vista or Windows XP, you might have to install them manually. I haven't tried on those two, so I'll show you guys how to install them now. Uh, otherwise, you just need to connect these two together or if you have a wired controller, you just start playing. So it's pretty simple. So I'll show you guys now how to install the drivers for these two. So here we are on Windows, I know this is a Mac but it is running Windows, and here is our wireless receiver. So the wired controller and the wireless receiver work pretty much the same. The first step is to plug in the controller itself and just see if it installs automatically. So it might as well, might as well give that a go. So I'll plug this in here and just choose connect to Windows because I'm in a virtual machine. So when this connects, as you can see here, we get a device setup pane. Click that and it'll install the device automatically for me. Of course, if this doesn't happen, I'll show you guys now how to install the drivers manually. So my receiver is now installed. As you can see, we have a little green light on the front. That literally took like 10 seconds, and it's now ready to connect to my Xbox controller. But if the installation wasn't as simple as that for you, here's how to download the drivers off the Xbox website. I'll give you guys this link uh, to the Xbox hardware downloads website. And here we're going to go to the gaming section. And here is the controller section, uh, Xbox 360 controller for Windows or Xbox 360 wireless controller for Windows. So choose whichever one you have. So I'm going to go into the wireless one. Choose your operating system. Mine is Windows 8, 64-bit, but Windows 7, 64-bit is the same thing really. And here is the Vista and XP drivers. So Windows 7, download that. And let's open it when it's finished. So click Run. Accept the agreement. Click Next. It'll install your files and it's now finished. Very simple, very quick. It'll ask you to restart your computer, so click yes to do that. And I'm just going to wait for this to restart. So I've installed my drivers, I've restarted Windows. This step is just right if you have a wireless controller, we need to connect these two together. So make sure you have your receiver plugged in, the light should be on. And on your controller, press and hold on the guide button until the lights start flashing like this. And then press and hold on the button on the receiver for a couple seconds until that light starts to flash. And then on the back of the controller, press the connect button, which is just right beside the socket right here, to the right. Press that for a second or two, and you should see the first light on the ring light up, and uh, the light on this should start flashing as well. So these two are now connected, it's as simple as that. Now every time you plug in your receiver, this controller should connect to this receiver, unless you configure this controller with the console in the meantime. So here we are back in Windows, we're going to test out our controller just to make sure it works. So this is for the wired and wireless controllers. So in your control panel, go into devices and printers. And in here, right click Xbox 360 wireless controller. Just make sure it's connected first and click game controller settings. If you can't get to this window using this method, you can also go into your start menu and click run or in Windows 8, go into your search and in the run box or in here, type in joy.cpl. You should see this app come up. Click that and here is the same window as you can see. So you should just have one controller right here. Click properties and in this window you can test out all the buttons. So here are my joysticks right here, they definitely work. Here's my directional pad, my X, Y, A and B buttons, back and start and my trigger buttons. So here's my guide button as well, it gives you a battery status which is pretty handy. Press it again and that goes away. So there we go. I can safely say my controller does work. 
So I'm now going to install the controller in Mac OS X for anyone who needs it. The process is still pretty simple, but unlike Windows, the controller won't install automatically. You will need to download the driver software first. So head to this website, I'll give you guys this link in the description, tattyboggle.com, and head down to the download section and click the driver download link. Download that and open it when it's finished. It should be on your desktop or in your downloads folder. Open that up and double click the package file. Go through the installer, click continue, continue, agree, and install. And enter your password, click continue, and just wait for it to finish. Once the installer finishes, we'll have to restart our computer. I'm going to do that now, and when we're finished, we'll plug in our controller and configure it. So Mac OS X has restarted, but now I'm going to open up System Preferences. Mine is down here in my dock, as you can see. A lot of people don't have it down here, so open up Spotlight up the top right, and type in SYS, you should find it. System Preferences, and down at the bottom you should see Xbox 360 controllers. Click on that. It'll say no devices found, so we have to plug them in now. So if you have a wired controller, it should come up automatically when you plug in the USB. If you have a wireless receiver, the light should light up. And just like Windows, we have to connect the controller to the receiver. So get your controller, if it's wireless, and press on the guide button for a couple seconds until the lights flash. Then on the receiver, press and hold the button for a couple seconds until its light starts flashing. Then on the back of the controller, let me just focus. Press and hold on the connect button right here beside the connector just for a couple seconds until the lights stop flashing. You should see the first light in the ring will go green and the light on the receiver stops flashing too. So back here in Mac OS X, you can test out all your buttons, your joysticks, the directional pad, X, Y, A and B, the triggers and the top left and right buttons. Everything works and you can configure it a bit too there if you like. So there's your controller working, time to go play some games. So that is it to install an Xbox 360 controller on Windows or Mac OS X. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click like, uh, make sure to click subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.